bridges. Mm. Apparently, it's not so dirty. They just secrete uh, brown seeds and their ass. All right. I just read that. Just a whole ride on that. Isn't it? It will attack you. Yeah, no, that's what I'm worried about, and it's much bigger than I want it to be. <laughs> the ones at Kirby were much bigger because they had all their feathers on and everything. Look at that little one. Oh. I feel sorry for the little ones because they tear us. Let's see that one on his back. A little one? No, that big one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's this little one doing here? It's like... Oh, this one's the nervous one. It's like, I want to get over there, but I can't. <laughs> it's like the adults tear ass over to one side of the pen, the babies catch up, and then the adults decide to turn around and yeah. tear ass the other way. <laughs> Cute. I've no idea what was going on then, but it was hilarious. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm struggling. <laughs> Why are you getting distracted too much? Well, we're here at probably the most happiest place on the planet. Yeah. What's it called? Tamwell. Tamar Otter Park. Tamar Otter Park, and it's just full of otters and cool-looking birds. Just jump over this. Bridge. I'm guessing that's because it's normal. So there's a talk on birds, which means you get to world one. Uh, yeah. Like birds of prey at 11.30 and they're going to feed the otters so we're just going to go for a bit of a donder close around the visitor centre and if you're lucky you might get a video of me getting terrorised by a eagle or something I'm assuming that they're the show otters that like just like to show off because <laughs> the other two cages there's no one here Not a they're all girl otters aren't they? Um, Unless they're all okay. in that hut, they're all in that hut Yang. Look how they've curled up around themselves. Well, they're properly social, they're aren't they? That one? No, not in that one. They're properly oh. social, aren't they? So they all like curl up together and. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's another hut down there. There might be some more otters in there. <laughs> yeah, this is well happier than like Disneyland. Yeah. It's also great that there's nobody here. Yeah. Oh, people stuck. Yeah. <gasps> it's Bambi. Don't worry, after the talks we can go and feed the deers. Yes, I want to feed the deers. Oh. You do know we're going to spend all day here, we're not going to go anywhere else. I don't want to go anywhere else. <laughs> That's fantastic. This place is wicked, to be fair. Should have worn Willys. Now I see why people are wearing their clothes. Yeah. The Wonder <laughs> Hello! There's a one in there. Oh! Hello, Mr. Otter. Wait! Oh. How cute! Is he all by himself? Must be. Unless his teammates are. Uh... Oh, oh my god, he's come up. He's come up to have a look at you. Look, look, look at me. Hello. <laughs> Oh, they are really cute. I really want an otter. Uh, yeah, you won't be saying that when he's chewing your fingers off. They're a bit vicious. 
Oh, look at his bum. Ooh, big yawn. Yeah, can't be asked with you. You've got no food. <laughs> Ooh, there's some more otters down here apparently. Yep. yep. Hello ducks. They proper look like farmyard ducks that have just kind of cruised onto this like wildlife preserve. Like yeah, we're exotic ducks. <laughs> Very tame, aren't they? A bit too tame, a bit weird. <laughs> oh, it's a little owl. Where? Oh. <laughs> it's just completely. Oh, can I see where's it gone? Hmm. Up. No time. Daytime. Daytime. <laughs> Look at the size oh, of that bastard. Look at its fluffy little tail. <laughs> Is it a bunny rabbit or is it a hare? No, it's a bunny rabbit. Hare's you sure? huge. Well, that's yeah. pretty fucking big. No, that's big. My rabbit at home are bigger than mine. What is it? No, it's a domestic lop rabbit. Yeah. So it's just a rabbit? It's just a rabbit. He's very cute. Look at the size of this bitch. You're massive, mate. I love how you're just mugging me off as well. Charlotte, tell him he's mugging me off. <laughs> Big time. Wow. Wow, fucking hell. That wingspan. Come back and sit on your perch. Come on, fly back over. Uh, good morning everyone, welcome <laughs> to Team Out Outdoor Wildlife Centre. My name's Carla, um, I'm one of the keepers here. Um, and over the next sort of, 20 minutes, half an hour, um, I'll be talking a little, a little bit about the birds we have here at the park. Um, so just to let you know, this isn't a flying show. Um, all the birds are flown off site, just not here. Uh, the main reason we do have way too many sort of chickens and rabbits oh. and all sorts <laughs> running around the place. Uh, and they will have an absolute field day. Well, he's got a bit of... Um, Tether around yeah. and it's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to look him in the eyes, it's not yeah, going to mess fine. me up. Yeah, <laughs> What sort of animal does it hunt? Uh, so he would hunt maybe small rodents, uh, rabbits, and things like that. <laughs> so yeah, all, um, all owls have facial discs, they're usually just different shapes and sizes uh, depending on the owl. And the reason they have them is to help out with their hearing. Uh, and so, really, just a little two cups on the top of uh, Cruz's head. Um, all right. Good, good bird. All right. Um, yeah, European kestrels <laughs> are one of the most common birds of prey we get here in the UK. Uh, number one is the common all little mm, mice and fowl. If it was one of us, uh, we would struggle, obviously, to see something that small from that far away. Uh, but being bird of prey, Jack here definitely just fibres then would split apart and we would be able to uh, sell it, gotcha. <laughs> we would uh, be able to obviously oh, see in between it. those fibres a lot easier. Hello buddy. Aww. You can see it's good as gold with anyone else. Uh, the main reason is because he associates uh, me or at least this green jumper uh, with flying. He, he doesn't really want to go back in his weathering or back in his aviary. He wants to go up in those trees and get those pesky crows that have been annoying him all morning. <laughs> He is yeah, really good uh, with any of you guys. Tom? I'm curious, I don't want to upset him now. Oh, no, he's he's <laughs> 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 So pretty much, uh, with Sky, he is, like said, he's very vindictive. A um, perfect example of Sky being vindictive. A couple of years ago, uh, there was a, a female peacock, a peahen, that really just sort of annoyed Sky all day long while he was in his weathering. 
she's just really annoying, but she needs to stay far enough away that he can get to her. Um, but one day during the winter, luckily the park was closed so no one was in, uh, John was by his side all the way up in that top field back over there. He spotted this peahen sitting up on that bench up there oh. by the tea room, and as soon as he saw her, he was no longer interested in what John had to say or had in his hand. He was straight down here in less than 10 seconds and bye bye the peahen. Uh, he is very vindictive. You take a look at the size of his, his feet, and next time when you see a peacock, take a look at the size of its head. It's perfect size. Peacock with that. Right. Yeah, yeah. killed it <laughs> straight away. <laughs> not as hungry as they usually are. No, you're not even interested in that bit. Oh. So in the wild, this is what you'd usually see. This family group, just roughly 12. We do have 15 in here. Uh, these are Leah's new cubs, just about 13 weeks old. So they've just come out of the box and they're starting to run around and sort of feed with the rest of the family. <laughs> um, he will be the always. He will always be the one getting the scraps. Oh, I didn't go down well. And he'll always be the one giving the rubbish jobs, such as cleaning, whilst everyone else gets to sunbathe and play around. They're also very caring towards each other, especially in these big family groups. It's quite easy to take care of one of them when they're injured, and all the others will start giving her food and water, uh, and then you know like a little princess to get all over again to go in the box and after the feed if it means they've got to put their family and their sort of home on the line then they'll fight for just about everything um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 that's usually just because they're hungry um sometimes i have had harriet like sort of run at me uh she can't see very well because she's so old so sometimes she'll go straight into my boot and have a bite at it and sort of like just lose interest. So they're a bit more aggressive, especially the females. Um, they'll be really aggressive um, during uh, sort of when they're mating with males. They'll be sort of scratching and biting them. The males sort of just have to take it on the chin and uh, just <laughs> let it happen uh, because they're uh, quite bigger than the females. The others, however, uh, once they find up a mate, they will stay with them for life. Only the death will separate one of them. Um, just like with the Asian otters, uh, they'll only have one partner and even if one of them dies, they won't go and find another one. They'll stay by themselves and raise the young all by themselves. However, uh, the older sisters will help uh, mum and dad look after them because they um, sort of practice in for when the last parent dies, in which case all the, all the family will split off. Find their so have you seen all the others being fed? That's super cute. I held an eagle, which was awesome. Apart from the fact, though, that she said, this eagle, not only is it vindictive as hell, it also remembers things, and it will mess you up if you piss it off. So, that was a little bit worrying, especially when it's this. And she's, she then said, um, as soon as you pick him up, he'll start studying you, trying to find your weakness. Which was a little bit sinister. Yeah, definitely. Um, so that was fun. Uh, and Charlotte held an owl, didn't you, baby? I did. Held an owl. A little owl. It was so cute. It was so soft as well. It was so really sweet. We've uh, just had a cup of tea and a scone. Proper good cup of tea. The cup of tea here is better than the cup of tea that we had at the real posh place so yesterday. It's a mug of tea. But it's strong. And now we're going to go for a walk through the woods and Charlotte wants to feed a deer. I want to feed a deer. I want to find Bambi. So let's uh, let's get packed up and do that. Do you want me to film while you do it? Yeah. You can do it first. I bet these lot are absolutely full. Yeah. Look at this guy. Straight over here. Yeah. More food, man. You have to go gently. How amazing! Yes! Nice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want some video, don't you? Some of the corn. <laughs> oh! Oh, well, you can both as well.
you like some. Yes, you do. Yes, you eat it. <laughs> what, the tongue? I'm probably licking my hand, it's gross. <laughs> right, yeah. That was grim. Was <laughs> Oh, they're nice. There's more, yeah. <laughs> You've got it on your nose now. Yeah. Do you want to do some more? Hmm? You really want some more, don't you? Look at your little face. There we go. Oh, yes. There are some massive owls in here. Check these out. Try if I can zoom in on them. There's another one there, yeah. I wonder if that's a boy and a girl one. That thing's fucking massive. <laughs> another one there. Looking at you. <laughs> that looks like a cross between an owl and a cat. <laughs> Jane says. Yes, it's very good. It's amazing how like all the animals here are just so well looked after and mm. they can all just roam free happily, like Apart from these owls. Well the owls, but I understand why they do that. Um, but from what they were said there was a guy talking about an otter earlier and saying that basically they've got just had a new one come in and they've looked after it, it was it had hurt itself. But then um they weren't they were deciding not to release it back into the wild so i assume that some of the work they do here they must look after them well i'm guessing and then it's release them back again i'm guessing yeah if they get ones that are hurt and they can release them they will do but they're saying that they might have brain damage because they said it was overly friendly and it shouldn't be that friendly yeah so, so i'm guessing what they do is they do a lot of um like animal welfare and then if the animal is well enough to they'll release it back into the wild but i'm getting the impression that quite a lot of the animals here that are here they probably like the birds here that are in cages, they might be here because it's for their own good. If you can get people interested in conservation by actually getting close to them and learning about them, like I know zoos do do it, but it's not to the same degree. No. But I like little places, like little centuries like this. Really good. Yeah. <sighs> right, keep having fight a look. Fight a wallaby. You're not fighting a wallaby. If it starts on me, I will. A wallaby, mate. Pretty certain the wallabies probably come from other areas other than Australia, but they're not quite as jumpy jumpy as I thought they would be. I found that one there's having a wash. <laughs> Scratching his belly again, me. Hello, turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> I was eating something there. <laughs> Found some meerkats. Or a uh, singular meerkat. Hello. Yeah, they've seen them. <laughs> Meerkat. Meerkat. <laughs> ah, yeah, typical. Now that... Now that I've stopped filming them, they all decide to get excited. Ah, oh, that's super cute. The cage here as well. I think he's got a little owl in it. <laughs> and then these boys aren't waking up, are they? Oh, bloody hell. I hate it when he does that. Stop focusing on bloody. There we go. He's not getting up. Neither's the other one. 
fast asleep. I'm like David Attenborough. And the male meerkat comes out of his hole, jumping and smelling the air. Him and his mate will be together for life. He sniffs around the grass looking for grubs and worms and other food to sustain him and his mate. And this one, whilst his mate is searching for grubs, this one stands on his back legs keeping watch for predators and tourists. Since there is no immediate threat, he does not call out. And the other male cat simply continues to scavenge for food. He spots something in the distance but loses interest very quickly. So we're just walking back now. But yeah, if you're ever in this part of the world, uh, where are we, Charlotte? Um, we're in Cornwall, but we're near Launceston. I think that's how you pronounce in, it. In Cornwall, near Launceston. Definitely come to the Tamar Otter Park. I think it's really good. Absolutely fantastic, definitely. Like, um, we must see for anyone in the area. Is wow, that look at that turkey, that's like a proper, like, Thanksgiving turkey turkey. Why is that so much? I'm guessing oh, it'll no, be no flash. no flash photography. Look at the size of that bugger. Look at his moustache. Get his moustache. What's his little beardy bit for? That's what I mean. That, that, that plume that's poking out. Yeah. Oh. I'm not playing hide and seek with you behind a post. I'm assuming that he's in here because he's vicious as hell. Probably. Yeah, you, you, let's, not, let's not tease him. No. Look at them all, they're so pretty. But no, as I was saying before I got distracted by that uh, turkey, <laughs> if you're ever in this part of the world, definitely come here because it's super good. It's like nine quid to get in. But you can spend all day here, you can leave and come back if you want to. Um, all the animals look kind of super happy and well fed. And uh, it is just, it's not, it's not super busy. So it's just a really nice little day out and a bit of a stroll, isn't it? It's lovely, lovely. And I think, um, like Tom was saying, for nine quid, uh, that's the adult price. I don't know what the children's price is. It's probably about a fiver or something like that. Um, that ticket is for the whole day, so you can go off, you can go have some lunch, you can go back to your cottage. I mean, the cottage that we're staying in is... Like two seconds away. It's a two second drive. It's about a ten minute walk away from where we're staying. So you could always go back to your cottage, have some lunch there, chill out for a bit with the kids, and then... Oh, wait for the wind to go down because I ain't got a fluffy on it. Get rid of it. Um, yeah, so you can go back to your accommodation and then come back here later on in the afternoon and have another look around. I think it's absolutely amazing that. There's not many places that would allow you to do that. There's a lot of places will capitalise on that and be like, oh, well, if you go out, you have to pay again. But no, it's absolutely fantastic. I think it's one of the best tourist attractions because that is what it is, really. I mean, it is a conservation. So number one, it's there to for the kind of welfare of the animals but obviously that welfare and the upkeep relies on people coming and paying entrance to come and look around and as far as that's concerned as a visitor attraction yeah, yeah. it's one of the best I've ever been to I think it's fantastic so yes I'm trying to film this little bunny rabbit look how cute it is look at its little bunny rabbit face I won't get any close because I don't want to upset it. But it's so cute. Tom's having it out with this huge owl. <laughs> Look. Ooh. 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 If I walk away, you turn around. I obviously don't speak owl. <laughs> obviously not. He's massive. It's hard to see on camera exactly how big it is, but uh it's the size of Stanley. Oh it's bigger wind -wind. than Stanley. When it's all on its perch like that, I reckon it's about the size of, I'm trying to think what it's about the size of, a Labrador puppy. I think that's pretty good 
kind of size, but then when it flies, it's huge. Its wingspan must be about a metre. <laughs> what do you mean that putting a bunny rabbit right next to an owl? Oh. Hey, come oh. on, sweetie. Oh. Yeah, he's not having any of it. I can't believe that they give animals like this like proper like wiggy names. I'd give them the best names ever. Michael. Bob. <laughs> oh, it's lucky now. Ah, yeah, now you look at it. <laughs> that was legit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was. Try was walking. <laughs> try walking away again. I'm just gonna go do something other than look at this owl and take a photograph of him. You're just nipping Titlow. Just nipping Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Right, it's turned around, it's turned around. Just a very, very still. <laughs> you really are very beautiful. Yes. You are very beautiful with your big orange eyes. Yes. And your little fluffy ears. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's a saucy little maneuver. <laughs> Oh, I spotted it. He has spotted that. <laughs> so, we've uh, come to where are we? Uh, Tintagel. Tintagel. We've I think just that's how you pronounce it. been over to that church. That's like right by the cliff. So we've seen the sea. Went for a quick walk. Stuck us head inside the church. Had a walk around. Yeah. It's been there since like the 12th century said it had 1400 years of history so that's 1400 years it's been there so 8th eight, eight century then 8th century yeah it's a catholic church so I didn't see it on fire which was good <laughs> now we're in a pub oh hold on went until the wind a bit and now we're just having a pint yeah now we're having a pint in a pub I've got a tribute, which is a, a Cornish pale ale. It's alright, it's a bit flat. And mine's called Sea Fury. Well, did you notice when they pulled them, they don't have the other you know, little things on the end of the, the, mm. um, uh, the pumps mm. that spray them. They don't use those. Maybe it's supposed to be quite flat then. No, oh, it's quite it. refreshing actually. Let's have a Let's have a do on yours then. <laughs> Not that I really know what a good beer or a bad beer tastes like. No. No? Like you say, it doesn't have any like brown water. Mm. Let me try some of yours. Mm, yours is nicer. Uh, it's called Sea Fury. Mm. It's good. I really want a Cornish pasty, Thomas. Charlotte hasn't got a Cornish pasty yet. She's really upset about it. We'll get you a Cornish pasty tomorrow, I promise. I want some Cornish pasty shop here. We don't have any money. Or well, we don't have any cash, rather. They might take card. We can have a look. Man, I really look the part drinking bitter. <laughs> Flat cap, this jumper having a pint. All I need now is a whip it. <laughs> so we're going to go drink his beers. Uh, Charlotte really wants to find a Cornish pasty. Uh, then we're going to go back to the uh, studio. Do you know that um, my mum used to call me her little Cornish pasty? Oh, a very nice name, isn't it? Because I was conceived in Cornwall. Alright. Apparently. We're going back to the studio and then we will. Uh, I think you'll probably read your book for a little while, won't you? Yeah. I'll play a bit more of Sim City, play with dog. <laughs> uh, and then we've got a load of nibbly bits for tea, so we've got some lamb kebabs and 
we've got a chicken breast left over, so I'll cut that up and make some goo guns out of it. Garlic pizza bread. Garlic pizza bread. Uh, some salad. Uh, and then we need to be away super early in the morning to get to where are we going? Arlington Court. Arlington Court. Mm -hmm. So that Charlotte can do some more wee history stuff. <laughs> and then we're going up to see uh, Becker in Coventry. So yeah, we'll uh, I'll finish up here and then uh, we'll catch up with you in a bit. Say goodbye, Charlotte. Hey guys, so we're back home now. Um, Tom was the last person who did a piece to camera, wasn't he, at the pub? So we left the pub, walked to the little Cornish pasty place, and it was still open, and um, they took card. So I have got some Cornish pasties. I'm so excited. So from the Cornish Bakery in Tintagel, I think is how you spell it. And then in here, look at that, is a traditional Cornish pasty. Oh, it smells, it smells fantastic. And it's still, oh God, it's still warm. I think I might have to have a little bit of it tonight. Just have a little bit of it and see what it's like. But yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm really glad I got one. I also got one here that I'm going to take back for my mum. Um, so yeah, got two. And then I also got these crisps from Tesco, which are rock for with roasted chestnut. I thought they sounded really nice. So I'll have some of those tonight as well. <laughs> so yeah, that's us back home now. Um, it's six o'clock. So I think what we're going to do is Tom's wanting to play his game for a bit. I'm going to read my book. I'm probably going to... Oh, itchy nose. Um, I'm probably going to have a little bit of this pasty, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, and then we'll probably have some dinner. Like I say, we've got a few peckish bits to eat. We've got loads of like, little bits and pieces left over that we brought down with us that don't want to take that food home with us. So I think we're just going to cook everything up and we're just going to have like a bit of a picky night's dinner. So, yes. Um, I'll leave the video here for today. We've taken loads of footage at the Otter Park and stuff, so um, I won't take any more today. Tomorrow we're at Arlington Court, so I will pick up in the morning um, when we're on our way there, and I'll film as much there as I can. So we'll see you tomorrow.